hello guys so let's start this project first of all open up your Android studio and all you need is just to click on this button which is new flutter project click on it make sure that flutter is selected ok and then click next here we have to provide our project name so first of all we will start from the drivers app okay and of course we will go step by step and then also we will later on in the course we will start our users app so first of all let's start from the driver app okay drivers underscore app and then click finish make sure that your project name is in small English alphabets okay and do not give any space extra space instead of space you can use this underscore okay and the project name must be in small English alphabet so now you can simply click on finish the project is now creating so our drivers app has been created in my case it is on the desktop okay since I have selected my desktop okay I already I mean I always save my project on the desktop so anyways so our project has been created successfully and then from here make sure that this project is selected and if you expand this here we have our lift folder basically inside the lift folder we write our code files okay by default we have this main dot dot which contains some basic code and which we do not need okay we do not need this basic code first of all what we need to do we need to simply click on this minus button okay just minimize this course code first and then this my home page start okay and then remove this both of them and now we have these comments here select these comments and remove it and then also remove this comment for now we will simply remove this cost my home page okay and we will comment out this home later on of course we will use it so the title of our app will be drivers app and then and let me tell you our app basically starts from here okay man which is the built-in method built-in function okay my app so anyways now what we need to do we need to simply change this to according to our needs we will make this man asynchronous and then in here we can simply say widgets flutter binding dot ensure initialized I'm going to open up the emulator okay in order to test the app on it so that we can see if our project is working fine or not our brand new project so here remove this comment from the home and for now we will simply add here a scaffold widget just like this and we will add an app bar here in the app bar the title will be let's add here hello or let's say welcome to driver app okay this is just for the testing so our app is running now and here you can see welcome to drivers app let's remove this debug badge okay we have to simply write here after after the home okay here below this home we can say debug show check mod banner and if we set it to false then it will simply remove that badge next thing is minimize this material app code okay and then we have to simply cut this from here okay control x 
just like this and then here when we say run app remove this const my app and in here we can simply say run app my app is our my app class okay so we can say my app the comma and then in here we can say child and then paste that material app here just like this my app child material app and now we have to simply make this my app stateful so just click here before this my app and you can simply click on convert to stateful widget and it will convert this to stateful widget you can also do it simply by removing it okay manually just like this and then type st and it will show you this stful which simply means stateful if you click on it it will create a stateful widget for you and which name we want to give to it we will give it the same name which is my app okay so we can say my app just like this okay so this is now our stateful widget and then here you can say final widget child my app this dot child and then we will create a method for restarting the app so we can say so whenever we need to restart the app we will simply call that function okay that method so anyways we can simply say now restart app context dot find ancestor state of type this one okay find ancestor state of type my app start and then we can restart app and then in the my app start can say key key equals to unique key void restart app and we will set the stat and we will assign unique key to key and then here we can say return key subtree child widget dot child and the key will be key And as you know we are using the latest flutter version which basically support the null safety so we have to add this check here and then after it when we call the restart app we have to make sure that we check that my app start I mean this is I mean null check we have to add this null check here not null okay and then also here we have to add a after the child add the null check here as well okay now come here to the test inside the test we have widget test dot dot basically we are calling our my app from here so remove this constant keyword from it okay remove the constant modifier from here because it is not constant so yeah everything is okay now and the reason why we make our my app stateful widget and why we do all these changes is basically 
due to our this restart app function as you know we will be implementing the live location updates for the users as well as for the drivers and we will be uh, handling a lot of trips between different user and different drivers which will take place so I mean we have to basically this method will play a really important role I mean this restart app uh, method okay later on of course we will implement some more feature as well related to the restarting the app okay so that's why we implement this okay so that whenever we call our restart app function basically what is the purpose of this whenever we call this method okay from anywhere in the app that is let's say later on in the course we will create we will have many other pages okay many other screens so whenever we want to restart the app we will simply call this restart app and it will basically restart the app from the very beginning okay it will make any global variables or any global uh, methods uh, that is initialized it will initialize it again whenever we start the restart app so that's why we done these changes okay it was important later on as I told you of course we will do some other things related to I mean similar functions we will implement further but anyways this is just to tell you the reason why we do that and now in the next video we will basically implement a splash screen